I try to encourage people, especially people from the diaspora, to know that, listen, mm -hmm. we still have to invest back home. Don't mm -hmm. show stone behind you. Go and get a Victoria Mitchell account. Go and find out the products that they have. Mm -hmm. Nothing is set in stone. And the second thing, again, every promoter or every event has a following. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The thing about it still is that most events that is kept in our community is promoters mm. supporting promoters supporting promoters all prom oh, the partner thing yeah mm -hmm. is it the corporate or is it the color of your skin do you feel like that played a role in it so in that terms mm -hmm. fabulous prizes mm -hmm. we don't want to take people money and have, have give them nothing in return yeah and for years, we have been giving away prizes. Such as. Welcome to another exciting episode of Catch Up With World Mag. I am Forever Sasha. Catch Up With World Mag is, of course, sponsored by Flat Cap Rum. Check them out. Let us know what you think. It's the holiday season coming up, so grab yourself some. Okay, so today's guest, well, ladies and gentlemen, it is a man who has brought glitz and glam, excitement into dancehall, into the dancehall space, giving us a different insight of how we can have fun with the glamour, the makeup, the hair, everything. It is promoter, bus driver link up, very own CEO, Junior. Hi, Junior. Sasha, thank you for having me, you know. Boss Our man. Bag team, you know. Yeah. People out there, in, uh, you know, internet, all about, you know, mm -hmm. worldwide media. Yeah. It's a pleasure, you know. It's a pleasure to have you here. And I feel like it's a conversation that we need to have. Definitely. Boss driver link up, like I've said. Even though I said that you've brought glitz and glam into the dance hall space, I know there's a lot of people already typing away saying, no, we didn't. I never said you created it. No. I'm just saying that it's a theme that you go with, you know, Definitely. Bus Driver Link Up. For those at home who don't know what Bus Driver Link Up is about, what type of event of it is it? Let us so know. So first and foremost, I'd like people to know that um, I started in the bus industry in 2006 as a driver at Catford Bus Garage. I worked for Stagecoach. Mm -hmm. And when I started... Um, I found it a bit boring in terms of people's personality because people are just working themselves, mm. chasing the money and not having fun. Oh. So I said, you know what? Let me do something mm -hmm. that can let them feel good about themselves. Let so that's us, how it came about? Yeah, let us mm. feel good about ourselves, mm. you know? Mm -hmm. And can let our hair down, you know, have a bit of fun. Let his hair down. Yeah, you know, <laughs> the women, them really, you know, and... Yeah, my ear may be gone, but them time, them, too much. <laughs> them time it up here, you know? See? So, yeah, definitely. And, mm -hmm. You know, yeah, when I say, you know, so that's how it all started, to be honest. Okay. Well, yeah. that's good, considering that back in the day, um, black people weren't even allowed to drive buses. Yes. And then for you to so shout out to those um, activists who got yes, you the rights yes, to basically yes. start driving buses. Now for a Jamaican-born individual to come in the UK and yes. do an event called Bus Driver Link Up, which the thousands of people there yearly yes, yes like that's epic so the next thing about it is that um when i also first started this event i never had any idea that it would become like this mm. to be honest but i've always loved entertainment you know i've always been involved in the business in mm -hmm. some aspect from back home yeah you know from where's home you mean where I'm born? Jamaica, yeah. I mean, so I was born in Kingston and okay. Jubilee. Mm -hmm. Walter, Shout out Jubilee kids, me, I'm one. Yeah, <laughs> you know, Walter Avenue and yeah. then moved to Spanish Town as a you know, okay. youth. Yeah, so mm. I grew up in Spanish Town. So ghetto, proper. Well, you don't mm. know, we have the balance, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we have the balance, you see me. But that that hunger there, that drive to um want to do better, because there's a yeah. difference when People are from the ghetto and they want to do better. Their fight is a bit different. Yeah. You know? So, all right, then the thing about it. So, I always wanted to make a difference and impact society in some mm. positive way. So, as I said, my love for music started from back in the days, in you know, the 80s, man. You're the yellow man. Them mm. people there, man. I said, yo, I love that, you know? Yeah. I want DJ too. Mm -hmm. I used to DJ too. But when I start going to studio, I didn't like the performance side anymore, like the business side. Okay. So the behind the scenes, I started engineering. I was around Sly and Robbie them, mm. Rory. Yeah. And then um, at one point, I was even trying to manage um, 
Innocent Crew. No way. Yeah, and then after that, I came here. But I've done production with like maybe the I've produced Five Scott and I've produced Butcher Banton, mm. Turbulent, Sasha, many, many artists. Oh, Elephant so it Man. makes sense when it comes to putting your the bus driver link up together. I can yeah. see that um, yes. production. Yes, so in there. I've I've been, you know, I mean, Shaggy Hotshot album. I remember when Shaggy was doing that album and cleaning up the tracks at Mixing Lab, and we had many conversations, mm. tour life, blah, blah, blah. And Shaggy, I say, yo, because. I'm Orville, he's Orville as well. Mm. Some take a liking to me because they share the same first name. Yeah, yeah, you know. And I remember also when this this album start moving numbers and we're having the platinum party at Shaw Park Hotel in um Ocherius. And Sharon Burr called me and said, Listen, there's two pass here for you, you know, to attend the platinum party. And I said, What what, what is that? And she's saying it's from Shaggy. So to me, I think them forget about me. All right. Mm. You know, but mm. yes, it's, you know what I mean? So that's how so my introduction in the business. So when I first came here, I never thought I'd be involved in the business again, to be honest. Mm. Never had any thought of getting involved again. Yeah. But then, okay. then noticing the scene, one of the first big event that I went to was Baba El Numa Uno birthday party. Mm. In Clapton um, Palace Pavilion mm. and I like the whole concept and then from there you know I kept it inside okay but Boss Driver Link Up wasn't always as elegant and glam as it is today I saw a flyer that you posted on your page I couldn't see the, the year wasn't on it so I don't know how far back it went so that was 2011 2011 so yeah. literally 11 years ago Boss yeah. Driver Link Up started 2009 2009, but yes. that flyer was 2011. Yes. So 13 years ago. Yes. And that flyer was £10. The tickets were £10. Yes. Now the tickets are 40 <laughs> for Just Dance and 80 if you want food of it. Yes. Talk us through that. How do we go from 10 to 40? So obviously, as you know, um, things and time change. Mm. We're living in a time now where living expense has gone up. Inflation. Mm hmm venue cost and to be honest what i'm trying to deliver the type of quality the type of entertainment and the type of venues that i'm going for are very expensive mm -hmm. and also the fact that um for indoor event i don't think i'll be carrying the numbers that i used to carry before mm. why because um the venues don't want it, and I'm having issues much. with venues. Mm. As you know, in the UK, there's a big shot of venue. It doesn't matter which level you're operating on. And a venue might be licensed for 1,200 people, mm. but they have signed a contract for 1,200 people, but bring 2,500 people. Mm -hmm. In their eyes, I violate them. I violate the license. Well, not in their eyes. You actually did. Yes. <laughs> so, to be yeah. honest, um, yeah, to be honest, you can't say I do, mm -hmm. you know, but... You then, can see that it could fit, though, so... You yeah, so you're looking at the size, but it's what's on their license, right. what's on their insurance. Mm -hmm. And then the world go around and every venue mm -hmm. know me because mm -hmm. they're all linked some way, family member, a friend or a friend. Mm. And one thing, to be honest, I've always said I have a decent audience, mm -hmm. but it's too big. Okay. So, you know, mm -hmm. it's about making it more exclusive, you know. So because the, your audience is so big now, the price has to go up because you need a bigger venue and the quality gets... It's not even that. It's more exclusive. So it's still a limited amount, a ticket. Mm. So when it's done, it's done. So how many people are you... What's your limit for this year's event? Twelve. 4,000. 1,200. 12, 1,200. <laughs> Big hopes for bus driver link up. 1,200? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And do you, is that feasible? Do you feel like? In terms of our manager thing, yes, yeah? it is, yeah. Okay. And is that 1,200 for the dinner and dance or for the whole night? No. So for the dinner, it's another 250. And then so, okay. yeah, on top of that, say 14, yeah. 1,450. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. so talk to me a little bit about venues because, like you said, finding venues aren't easy. But 
but you have yes it's a nice elegant venue when certain business people see this they take a liking and want to say yes to it but then the size that of the crowd could be a problem and also it's still dance or genre you know that genre kind of have a stigma to it or am I incorrect so no it's right you're right because Mm. okay then so I'd that venue in Croydon last year mm-hmm. and apart from managing the crowd there was no incident mm-hmm. Ap- you know small but nothing like a fight or anything mm-hmm. and obviously um, I kept in touch with the venue owners mm-hmm. give them breathing space because they have to do that Yeah, and we communicated blah 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 and um, when I contacted them Mm. And I asked them if they'd have me again. They said yes, but under certain stipulations, which, Fair enough. Mm. you know, stringent, but I went through, we, we talk, you know, mm-hmm. risking a lot as well, because, you know, yeah, the location, I love it because it has the hotel upstairs, mm. which the moment I put the date out, hotel mm. sold out like in three days. And, um, yeah. It's uh, it's not because you have people traveling from different parts yes, of the UK to yes, come to you and stuff mm-hmm. like that. So um, every event I keep mm-hmm. because I don't want it to be a secret. Yeah, I put in for my permits, mm-hmm. but this time when I put in for my permits, we had an issue, mm-hmm. and the issue was with the people, not the venue, but the people. What do you mean with the people? So the owner or not the owners, the not crowd? the venues, no. The borough. Okay. Yeah, and uh, the command and people who keep event and go to the channel will understand. Um, I might elaborate a bit more at my event, but I don't mm. want to say much more. Mm. But with that now... Um, but you love to do that, Juno. The last time I was on a red carpet event, you said, I've got something to say, but I'll leave it for later. It's, it's educational because you as a person, there's, there are plenty of people when they're doing their events, they're like, I want it to be like Boss Driver Link Up. They know yeah. not now, but in time. So yes. I'm sure you've got some gems that they would want to hear. All right then. So for every event we, you're keeping, mm. if you want to do it properly, you have a thing you call the temporary event notice mm. or, you, or you have a planning permission. Okay. So like when we went outdoors, mm. the consultation was like six months of consultation, back and forth, back <gasps> and forth, oh, wow. you know, right and wrong, blah, 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 blah. And even when we went outdoors and we got everything approved and boom, mm-hmm. we got an email um, after a SAG meeting, Mm-mm. the police um, didn't give us a go ahead. This was a court venue? No, that was for the one in in June, the all white, mm. because of the Jubilee. Mm. So what happened now, um, they're saying that they had, the police is drawing resources from the local boroughs mm. for central London because of the Jubilee celebration. Mm-hmm. So they are skeleton staff and they could not guarantee safety oh. based on the numbers. Mm-hmm. Now we are saying that we have enough SIA, we have enough, mm-hmm. but the premises owner, there are five, six more events to go. Mm. And they're saying that, listen, if something happened, you're going to lose your license. Mm-hmm. It's an intimidation to them. Mm-hmm. And they're thinking, listen, if we sacrifice this event, at least we have four or five more that's going to go through. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's, you know. Yeah, it made sense in the grand scheme of things. Yeah. So yeah. in this one now, it's, um, I don't know, they knocked me back with a few stuff. Mm-hmm. And when I sent it to my, to my lawyers... And they look at it, they're saying that, listen, the turnaround time for this is not good enough. Mm-hmm. It's going to be tough. Because mm-hmm. I've got objection before. Right. I will challenge them and one mm-hmm. more than once. Okay. Yeah. It does does those, um, objection, is that a reflection of you having to change the date? Because you've changed your date quite a few so times. So that's what happened in, in um, June. Mm-hmm. Recommendation, really. Re- not really an objection, but recommendation. But this one is an objection. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, um, change of date, change of date is because of that. Mm-hmm. So I had to change the date. And I had to find a venue that had the license that I don't need to apply for nothing. Okay. That comes inclusive. Yes. Right. Okay. But if I was meant to go late, mm-hmm. I'd have to still go through the same channel. 
on that channel and need at least three, four months. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's interesting. The time. Bus traveling, me personally, I like the time, right? Because, yeah. you know, people that have a life that yeah. it's not just party 24-7. Yes. It's good to go to an event, go to bed, still can wake up and yes. get stuff done. Yes. So bus driver link up tend to finish early. Yes. But then you still manage to get the crowd out. There's some yeah. late parties that goes to four or five and people don't reach till three o'clock. Mm. Why is it that bus driver link up managed to get the crowd and like the time as well? Like before everything even gets heated, there's a big crowd there. So you see the thing, we, we place emphasis on um, quality entertainment. Mm -hmm. So the emphasis is not about we have a warm up DJ and then mm. come such and such you have the good DJs. All the DJs that we book are headliners. Love that. All the DJs can play at any segment, but obviously we have our special guests. Mm -hmm. But sometimes our special guests even play two sets. Mm. Cause they do an early set and a late one. Right. You know? Mm. So yeah. So um yeah, I like that. That's important. I mean, I've never thought about that. Maybe that's one of the reasons why Boss Driver Link Up is winning like it is because, for real, I do hear people complain that they go to a party and that's why they reach late because it's yeah. not really started yet. Yeah. Okay, makes sense. Yeah, so everybody will encourage you to come up with their A game. Mm -hmm. To make it interesting as, as well, we also offer mm -hmm. fabulous prizes. Mm -hmm. We don't want to take people money and have, have give them nothing in return. Yeah. And for years, we have been giving away prizes. Such as? TV, holiday, holiday. <laughs> you know? Getaways. And stuff like that, yeah. you know? Mm. So it's just the same this time. We have um, our odds gift vouchers, mm -hmm. 200 pounds, mm -hmm. best dress male, mm -hmm. best dress female. So that's two separate. Oh, so you got 400 pounds, Harrods gift. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm also, and I'm going to get that this week. Mm. Putting on another one, which is um, best dressed couple, but that's a spa weekend. Okay, yeah, it makes sense. Yes. Like, you don't want them fighting over money, so yeah. just get them a spa weekend. Yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah. And um, how are you going to judge that, though? How? So, we're going to get some independent people that. On the night? On the night that. Okay. People maybe don't even realize, but there are people that are into fashion, like mm. into the fashion industry. Okay. Yeah. So they're going to be walking around without you knowing that they're... Yes. I love that. Yes. Come yeah. on. So yes. you guys got to be on point at yeah. all times. Yes. Even if you're saying... Yeah. Okay. Mm. Listen, I'm not telling nobody to say I'm Selfridges. Mm. I'm not telling nobody to say you have to wear a designer. Mm -hmm. you look good. Mm -hmm. But it's a way you put yourself together. That is it. You understand? Yeah. Because we have never ever tell people that um, you have to go spend... X amount, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. because fashion is about the way you put yourself together. Yeah. And it's not brand. Yeah. You know, so um, for the dinner and dance, again, Sandals came back on board mm. and they're That's offering, amazing. yeah, offering um, a weekend for two. Mm -hmm. To Jamaica. Yeah. Um, to any of them hotels in Jamaica. Okay. Anyone. Oh, is it just for the hotel or is it a flight and everything? No, it's a hotel. Okay, so once you book your flight, you don't yeah. have to worry about how, how long is a stay? It's it's a weekend, so it's um, oh, weekend. Okay. three days, two nights. So if you want to do a little getaway with your side piece, yeah, it makes sense. Well, I mean, I know about side, not <laughs> about main, you understand, you know? You have the main at bus driver link up and then you take the side, okay. I mean, mm -hmm. I know about that. You know? Me know about that. Yeah. So, <laughs> so uh, what I'm saying is this, um, last year or so, um, I gave away a prize, a dinner for two at the Shard. Mm. And the person that won that mm. actually went there and got engaged. <gasps> no way! Yeah, and showed me the pictures. Did you so. share that on your page? I need to find them pictures. That's not cool, Junior. We want to know. We were all there when they got given the gift. Yes. And then there's a great follow-up and we don't get it? For real, for real, for real. Yeah, for real. So, yeah. And, uh, nice. and, and, and and the lady that won the uh, weekend for two mm -hmm. was going to Jamaica anyway. Mm. Her mom was just recovering from some illness. I forgot what it was. And that was her intention to take her mom to mm. a hotel for the weekend. Yeah. And that prize came handy. So, oh, wow. You know, so, yeah. 
You know? There goes bus driver link up. It's cementing yourself in people's lives. Engagement, special time with parents. Yes. That's good. Yeah. That's amazing. And to be honest, you have like Victoria Mutual, who is, you know, a nation builder, mm -hmm. maybe one of the biggest mortgage providers mm -hmm. in Jamaica. And they're also involved here because they do business here. Yeah. Mortgages here as well. And they're on board again. Yes. Wow. And we have got a fantastic relationship. You know, Donna, Leighton, the whole team, I have to say thumbs up because even with the changes, even with the glitch, mm. the glitches, they understand. That's good. And I try to encourage people, especially people from the diaspora, to know that, listen, mm. we still have to invest back home. Don't mm -hmm. throw stone behind you. Go and get a Victoria Mutual account. Go and find out the products that they have, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Investment products. Investment is not only owning a home. Mm -hmm. It could be some bonds. It could be some, yeah. you know, some other stuff. You see what I'm saying? I love that. You're talking business. You're talking money. You're talking investment. You know, all of that kind of stuff. Me personally, I like your business style, right? Yeah. Um, It's borderline ruthless, yes. I would say. Yes. And word on the curve would say too. Yes. I don't know if you heard the word on the curve, but you know, yeah. my ears are glued to the street. Yeah. Um, So obviously... Being a promoter, yes. and you're not the only one, there are loads of other promoters, yes. there's going to be a chance that you're going to be on other people's dates yes. or they're on your date. I don't know who yeah. made the calendar and decide whose yeah. date is whose date, yes. right? Um, so how do you deal with situations like that when you're having to make some decision in regards to venues, the availabilities, and then going ahead with a date for your event? Um, that's a very good topic because... Some people take it very serious. Mm. Some people take it to the point where age is involved. Mm. And I could elaborate a bit more in terms of how far they go. Mm. You know? Mm -hmm. Please do. Intimidating tactics mm. and stuff. But, you know, we're, re we're not faced by stuff like that still, mm -hmm. you know? So they've taken it that far to yeah, but, um, confront you about it. Yeah, you know, mm. Ways and means, you know, but mm. what I'm saying now, people who understand events know that, listen, nothing is set in stone. Mm -hmm. Nothing is set in stone. And the second thing, again, every promoter or every event has a following. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The thing about it still is that most events that is kept in our community is promoters mm. supporting, promoters supporting Promoters, promoters. Oh, the partner thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the thing about it now, a man get a bit threatened when my event is keeping, mm -hmm. or maybe another man event is keeping on his night, he's saying, yo, what you say? He's so called night, yo. Them man, they're going to so spend them money, and when them come here, so they're not going to spend the money. Oh, the man broke. Yeah. But listen, I'm going to tell you I this. Cash promise there. Okay. I look at my event as 10 million people living in London. Mm hmm Oh, you've done your maths. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 10 million people live in a London. Mm -hmm. And in the UK, them say 66 million people. Mm -hmm. Now, when I'm keeping my event, you have people coming from Leeds, Manchester, Birmingham. My all white had people flying from Belgium, mm -hmm. Switzerland, Sweden. Yeah. People came up to me and said, yeah, I'm here for your event, bro. I watch it and this. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'm keeping my event and it's not local because I live in South London and it's them sides and people saying it's far. Mm. I remember the first time I brought major hype here mm -hmm. and I was in Norwood on the high street. and I got Before we go to that part yeah. with the whole date thing, because you're not the only person, there are other people who has that issue of, you know, yeah. clashing on going on each other's date, which as an outsider looking in, I really want to know, like, how do you deal with things like that? Is there a strategy that you have? Like, do you call people and say, I'm doing my party this day. What, sh what are you saying? Like no, no. To be honest, I've never done that before. But, mm. like, let me tell you this now. Like, Loyal Squad, um, we are very good friends and we communicate. And okay. to be honest, Loyal Squad know that, you know, we have some of the same people that support mm -hmm. each event. And I support him mm -hmm. when I can as well. You know, I book them as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But on this occasion, it's beyond my control. It was an availability. Of the venue? Yeah. Okay. And that was the only remaining Saturday mm -hmm. for the whole year. And I can tell you that I've been trying to find a suitable venue all year. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you from January. 
because I didn't even have an, the slightest idea that um, Grand Safari would allow me back there, mm. to be honest. Mm. And we get many knockbacks, many, 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 many. Yeah. Because mm. originally your event was on the 19th, which would have clashed with Loyal Squad. Yes. But then you changed it to the 20th. Because of the objection. Right. Yeah. And you have to change your so, venue. And to be honest, I wanted to keep the 19th because of obvious reasons. People that made them travel arrangement, people mm. that work and would prefer. And already booked their yeah, hotel. Yeah, and, and we've that. been to many, many places. Mm. Wembley. Yeah. Wembley um, Stadium have two nice ballroom. Mm -hmm. They invited us. I don't know if because we were communicating through email. Mm. The, the moment they saw us, or saw me, I should say, mm. it's a different ball game. They start moving the goalposts and move it further and further. Oh. And when they realized that, listen, you know, move it, but yeah, we want to do it. Mm -hmm. They came up with a saying the FA is having something on the 19th. Why do you think they done that? So you have to understand that we're not corporate enough for them, maybe. Mm -hmm. You know? Is it the corporate or is it the colour of your skin? Do you feel like that played a role in it? So in that terms, I would say it's that mm -hmm. and we're not corporate enough. Okay. So but, it would help to have a... Because um, oh, your, your, your partner is black. So yeah. you feel like if you had a white partner, you turn up, maybe it would have been different. But me, no, I sell out my thing. I'm not going to No, get, no, that's hypothetically. Yeah. Not, no, I, I'm I, don't, so I, don't, I don't know if that would make a difference. <laughs> mm. I don't not get another race to front my event mm. because we need to break through the barriers. No, okay, that's important to you. And break them down, you know? Come on. But what I'm going to say is this. Um, there are venues there. Mm -hmm. There are venues but they just don't want to give us. Fair enough. But yeah. that didn't stop you from finding a venue and doing no, what you're doing. Because the thing about it still, and thank God, and you know, I always have to give praises to God because um, you have to have strong self-belief. Mm -hmm. And also, when you communicate with these people, you, you can't just go like it's a street thing. Yeah. Mm. It's a business and mm -hmm. you're fronting your business. My right. my business is a business. It's not a job business. And that's why you made business decision to have your event on a day that was available, regardless yes. of who yes. was having there. So now that you've changed it to the 20th, Loyal Squad is still on the 19th. Yes. I can imagine <laughs> they're not gonna be eaten tomorrow. But I can imagine the grin on their face when they see that it's only that. Because I, I would be, no matter how successful my event is, yeah. if I see that somebody else as successful as on my date has changed yeah. to another date, that would be a sigh of relief. Like, come yeah. on, yeah. that's one less thing to worry about. Yes. You know, I wanted, I need to speak to lawyers well because I need to know what, they, what they're thinking, how what's going on in their head. Ox, the whole team, Raheem, the mm. whole team, we have mad respect for each other. You know that, me know that, the whole mm. team know that, you know? Mm. And that's no good. malice, no malice at all was it involved. Me and you know that, yeah. you know? We're not like that. Fair enough. That's yeah. good. Because you know the streets will always talk. But as long as the yeah. business people know what's what, yeah, we're good. Okay, yeah. so then we can see Loyal Squad again at a bus driver link up event. There's no malice. No, man. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm a DJ's them. I'm okay. A, no, man. I do. Listen. I know. Yeah, I love mm. the way they present themselves. And yeah. I love the fact that they. They're about business. And they're also bringing to mm -hmm. a team, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A younger generation. So they're not only appealing to. Cause acts are the oldest. Old man acts, yeah. Yeah, but acts, <laughs> I bring to a generation. So when his generation are grow with him, the other generation is still behind. Yeah. So their audience is mixed. And and listen, mm -hmm. even with bus driver link up, one of the reasons why I bring started the all white was because this one is a grown folks mm -hmm. one, as how they used to look at it, the mm -hmm. champagne and brandy ball. But then. What about the younger guys that are coming into the business? Mm -mm. Are we going to alienate them? Mm -hmm. So I make it a bit more, put a bit more edge to it. I like how inclusive Bus Driver Link Up is. You do see a mixture of age yes. like there. Y yes. Back to, I'm not done with the whole going on people's date. There's one more event. So there's like Buckle Match Buckle. Yeah. More and buckles. I got a shout out Buckle Match Buckle. I'm hosting that as well. Yeah. So the thing is, right? You're on the 20th, which yeah. is the Sunday, yes. 20th of November, Bus yeah. Driver Link Up, 19, yes. Buckle Match Buckle. Yeah. But you were originally on the 19th. Yes. So it's like we're playing bingo here. Yeah. 
So yeah. obviously I was booked for Bus Driver Link Up first. Yes. And then I got approached by Buckle Match Buckle. Yeah. The dates were fine. Mm. But then when I realised that you changed it to 20th, I was like, wait. Mm. Now you're both on the same. But then yours is an early event. Mm. Then I see they changed their date to the mm. 19th. I was like, oh, even better. Mm. What, what happened there? Do you know what happened there? Well, I haven't spoken to Mark. Mm -mm. You know, Mark... You know, I mean, I have no intention to affect nobody thing. And <clears throat> Mark and his, his family, we are cool. Not only Mark alone, I'm talking uncle them and this, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Shaka, the whole team. Yeah. People, were, you know, some of the behind the scenes people, them. People don't know them things, you know. Mm -hmm. But as, um, again, it's no intention to affect nobody's event. Because I still believe Mark Buckers have a following as well. Mm. And there are times when me and Mark Buckers used to have our event the same day. And I'm sure no Mark used to win just the same. Nice, nice. Yeah. So Mark know that too. Yeah. But as I say, we're in a police, mm -hmm. we're in a council. You understand? Mm -hmm. And we now just change our date. Yeah. For no reason. Mm-hmm. You understand yeah. what I say? Yeah, yeah. You it only makes do that. sense. Yeah. You understand? So it must be something, but I don't have to come out and make everybody know. Yeah, it's not a spy, it's business. You understand? Get it? Yeah. yeah. So know? back to the group of people that go to Bus Driver Link Up. Yeah. Because you were talking about them, you know, like mm. you've got the younger, the older, mm. etc. Mm. Black, white, like mm. every race, mm. in a sense, mm. is at this event. Um, do you want to elaborate more on that? So the thing about it still, um, I went for the softer side of dance hall. Mm. Ooh, define the softer side of the dance hall. The softer side. Yeah. So in terms of softer side, what I mean, I don't want to hear about no postcode. Ah. I don't want to hear about where you come from. I don't want to hear about where you used to do. So you tell the DJ that because sometimes they instigate this, you know. Do you yeah, tell them that? Yeah, I make them know. I make them know. I don't want to hear them thing there. You see me, I said, I want, because I want people to just come out and have a good time. You understand? Because sometimes you can say something. Mm. And it bring flashback to people because people have Trigger. traumatic mm. incident in them family and in them life too. True. You understand? Mm. I mean, I know people that come to my event where them son gets stabbed and killing on the street and when mm. you might go say, yo, man, from... And it just... Mm. You know? Mm. So, I don't want it to be about that. I want it to be about you come out, you Inclusive. come to have fun, mm. you enjoy yourself, good music, mm -hmm. good atmosphere. Yeah. Ambience, you see what I'm saying? I want to set that tone there. And when people leave, one of the greatest things is when after every event, I'm look on the Instagram, I get all a million tags. Right? You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And their comments saying they enjoy themselves. Yes, yeah. you know? Mm. So, and I'm not going to say things happen because sometimes things happen. And sometimes I, anybody that support my event, I have to give them respect. Yeah. Because I personally, as much as I love this business, mm. yeah, first and foremost, I'm an employee of a bus company. Mm. I'm a controller. Sometimes I do drive the bus still. Mm -hmm. Stringent alcohol, stringent drug test. Mm. It's random. Okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. And you could lose your job. Yeah. Mm. We have attendance mm -hmm. where your attendance is important. Mm -hmm. So I can't, because I want to dance and I'm a, I drink too much, I can't turn up at work. I have mm. to manage those things. Be responsible, or, yeah. Or I turn up for work late because mm -hmm. lateness impact the business that we do. I have to respect that and if I never respect that, COVID teach me to listen. The job is important, nothing mm. ever I keep. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Speaking of lateness, the first time I worked for you I was late and people... I got a proper told off. <laughs> yeah, because of the industry, man, for real. The industry I let, really let me respect time, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for real. The industry let me respect yeah. time, you know? So, yeah, you know, remember, you're <laughs> under pressure, yeah, you know? And ro oh, it's not, well, not ropes, that's their Rolex. I was like, don't worry, man, when you see your work, you can forget what it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. But no, differently, um, you talk about inclusion, and I, I, I hear that and I respect that because I can see that yeah. in what you do yeah. you know even maybe not so much in your food because you do offer food but i would love for bus driver link up to have 
to introduce some different cuisine as well, some world worldly food. I know we're Jamaican, but you know, yeah, you're the Jamaican. African stuff. and... Not necessarily the, just the African, and but... The Italian and the... You know, look, one, look one, two, something. Because I yeah. feel like it's that kind of yeah, event. Yeah, it's true, it's true. The one, um, where was it? Croydon. Yeah. The previous one, you did do... It was, I can't so fish, but it was in something nice. Yeah, <laughs> just sure, like, I, mean, I even remember what Oh my God, that. that was yummy, right? Yeah, yeah. But... In regards to your lineup, you yeah. had a violinist. I feel she was Oriental, yes, right? Man. Yes, man. You had a violinist. You had David Radigan. Yes. Um, at another time. So it, yeah. even though you said you wouldn't have a another race front your event, you're not saying you're anti other people because no, you have. We're employees. not racist. We're not racist. Mm. The thing about it, what I'm saying for my business, mm. I don't believe that. And for any black business that want to break through and mm. break. The barriers and you know and mm. to make an impact for the next generation i don't believe that we need another race mm. that people might think is more acceptable because more yeah whatever yeah I know what you mean. To, to, to be doing your business them same people can turn around and take away your business or mm -hmm. your idea mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know what i mean but i think that we as a people you know we come from too far yeah. and our people fight too hard for stuff a lot of liberty, yeah. A lot of you know freedom for us to start giving it up. True, you know? makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Talk to us about your lineup on this occasion because I see I, I see names added all the time. The promotion every day. There's an update. There's something like so listen seriously. This. So listen to this now. First and foremost, just a call. Mm -hmm. That I'm a dope. Some you know, I'm just in the UK about three years. But I'm a general. You know what is he gonna bring to the the lineup? So he's a singer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, come from Low Lane, mm -hmm. local place downtown. You know, mm -hmm. Jenna. So he's a singer for the ladies. Cause somebody yes. watching at home. Yeah, so man. They can... Him yeah. have everything, man, and him okay. have uplifting songs. You know, mm -hmm. IAP. Mm -hmm. You know, added to the lineup. Okay. But IAP, enough people to know. We know IAP from here, yeah, fourteen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. from a live in Canada. Mm -hmm. So we have that. And I just know, you know, when I appear the tailoring down a stripe road, mm -hmm. so I just know. You what is he adding to the lineup? So I appear is a fan favorite, Selena. You know, I have some songs with the people, them love Jaja Bless Me and you know him thing. Okay. Yes. Okay, next. JC Lodge now. Mm hmm. Wake oh, up, breakfast in bed. Mm hmm. Telephone love. Telephone, yeah. Stuff That's like the one that. I know. Yeah, we, we grew up. <laughs> we grew up yeah. here, our songs and... So then that's somebody for the older generation. So and... that's for the dinner aspect, really, to yeah. keep them entertained in mm -hmm. that, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know? What so while they're... Else? Yeah. We have Pure Vibes. Mm -hmm. What are they going to bring apart from Pure Vibes? So here I know with Pure Vibes and now. I never even know so them know me. Mm. And I went to a party and... Brother and your man is far up in a Kent. And when I went there, I said, yo, nobody else doesn't know me. A different club, but all of a sudden, me and me and people, I said, Junior, what are you doing here? Junior, How what are you doing here? How can you think no one knows you? <laughs> Come on. You understand? I'm going to get mob and selfies and, mm -mm. and the DJ, yeah. pure vibes and right. did it. I'm going to wait. <clears throat> So anyway, um Yeah, what are they gonna bring? Well watch them mm. and the way them play them conic. Okay. See? Mm -hmm. You have um Um Studio Express. Mm -hmm. Killer with soul for the girl them. Okay. And the man them who wanna be slick. <laughs> Sorry, you wanna know. <laughs> we'll have some soul music where we grew up on as youth, cause we grew up in the nineties. Mm. Most Jamaican DJs, when them got sold, them got 80s. Mm. But then left out the 90s and the 2000s. Mm -hmm. So Studio Express is going to bring that? Yeah, man. Okay, that's good. Sound mm. like you're covering all corners. Who else? Yeah. What else? So, line up, you know, you have like V-Rocket now. But anyway, you have Bobo. Bobo Enuma, one of my general from a long time. My horse, mm. coordinator, mm -hmm. everything I can take it. And him is a DJ as well. Yeah. You understand, and I'm going to manage a stage aspect for me. Because I need somebody to do that yeah. as well. Production. Yeah, V-Rocket from Nottingham. Mm -hmm. 
And if people know V Rocket are one of the oldest reigning sound system in the UK mm -hmm. from in the sixties. Mm -hmm. Valerie. Me and them have a very good relationship over the years. Mm. And most time when Sky Juice come to Metro Media, mm. Billy, I don't want to play for him. Yeah. So it's only right that them get them, you know? Fair enough. And to be honest, it happened before, but because of lateness and time issue, them just never get fair. Mm -hmm. You know? I mean, so hopefully them that, this yes, no, summer we'll, we see them. We, yeah, everybody will be, get, will be getting them opportunity to express them work, you know? Yeah. So you have... um. Andre Fresh, which I know. So you yeah, know, you have all the DJs in the UK when we love. Rate. And some of them things, I'm going to rate them too. Mm. See? Mm. I'm going to rate them. Them talent. But Andre is up on a different level, brother. Mm -hmm. Andre read the audience so good. Mm. Easy. And that man never failed to deliver. You see what I said? Big up every UK DJ upon the dance hall scene. Rate the whole I wanna. Uh, some of the women I talk to. I always say, do, 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 do. Yeah. I rate them you know, on work, on half talent. All right. What the big one? The international one? The one that's taking plane for the event? Two of them. Oh, two? Oh. Yeah. So let the people them know about the two big highlights so, so, before so, we wrap so, up the so, interview. Because they need to know what's happening. Glamour win, no? You say glamour win? Mm. Everything we can think about dance all that is that man. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Dance all Guinea Epstein. Mm -hmm. So you yeah, man, this man I come from the 80s with the same Rory, Stone yeah. Love, the same Sky Juice, Mark Jagan, name it, mm. from Gemini days. Yeah. You understand? And them dominate the 80s, 90s, 2000s, migrating in America. And brother, that man, for me, forget him for come here. Him there for cancer two dates. Oh wow. That's how busy that man is. Mm. You understand? State yeah. to state, out of the country, mm. many places. And you know, sometimes I'm on my things to them people that are busy. Busy. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Good. It's an honor you get to cancer yeah, too and for you. Listen now. You see, with a change of date, I mean, the other day, you know, the summer, no power the day and Oconic. Good mm. vibe, mm. you know. I mean, the first time I meet now, Paul was in Liar Squad, them they bring them here, mm. bring them here still. But a whole of different vibes, and at the same time, Jazzy T was here as well, and mm. Jazzy T am a dopes, yeah. proper dopes, you know what I mean? So, we were some good vibes and good meds, and with the whole rearrangement, I said, Jano Star, you know, say, I need to give them people something else. Right. And no, what chat, power it was. I chat to Jazzy T as well, but it wasn't. I mean, I say, you know, I say, yo, I'm going to get no power. Because this youth here, him have something Mind different. Sense. Yeah. And also, you yeah. well, know. And he can connect with the younger audience. Yes, as well. man. That That's means good. I say, we want to mm. make sure, say, the younger audience no, feel a part of this. And, you know? Yeah. So, listen, when I, we're, first and foremost, we come from the forever young side. Mm -hmm. It's a Sagittarian. Mm hmm. We're forever young. Team Puffy. Saggy. Puffy. Saggy. You notice them people, they're not great. Mm -hmm. They're not get old. Mm -hmm. See me? So here we go. Jay-Z. Yes. <laughs> you see me? So yeah. here we do now. That youthful exuberance, we keep it right true. Okay. And we always have to try to connect mm. with the youths and try to understand them. Yeah. You understand? Because them are the future as well. So you don't know. All right. You more when them come, them not feel like them being left out. And just in case you haven't got your tickets, we're going to make sure that the information's on the screen. So Junior's going to give it to us. We're going to put it on the screen for where yeah, you can get your tickets so, yeah. for this Sunday's main event, Bus Driver Link Up. All right. Before we go, though, Junior, what is it that you'd like to say to people? Remind of what, apart from, you know, good behavior, whatever, anything else you'd like to say to your supporters? First and foremost, I want to say thank you for your continuous support. Thanks for your understanding. Because I know that with day change, it affect plans. Yeah. Kids, babysitter, mm -hmm. you know? But for you to still want to come and support forever, grateful for that. And, um, yeah, you know, come out again with your best behavior. That's how we always like, end us, yeah. you know? Make it a movie, make it the Oscar. 
That's you it. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy the moment because trust me, I'll go all out for you guys in terms of the quality. So the come venues, out and enjoy it. Yeah. Everything, you know? Big money spent. You understand? So we not only I come take, we are give to. Mm-hmm. You understand? All right. And also, people, don't forget that you need to... I don't need to tell people that's already gone to Bus Driver Link up what the setup is. For those who have never been before that want to come, make sure you dress your best, you know? Like Junior said earlier, it doesn't have to be designer. Just make sure you look in the part and all these kind of stuff because I, Forever Sasha, will be on the red carpet talking to people about their style, the venue, everything and anything. All right? So bring your A-game this Sunday, 20th of November, Bus Driver Link up. And also... Come out early. Come and enjoy every Time moment. Again. So the dinner will open from three. Dinner start from half three to half five. Clear up party from six onwards. All Come right. enjoy so you're not, the you moment. You don't have to cook. No, man. Aye. And listen, the menu is top quality, man. Aye. You see me? Lobster tail. Them something there. Mm-hmm. Grilled salmon. Aye. Traditional curry goat. Yeah, you will know? there be vegan options as well? Yes, man. Great. Okay. Definitely. That's good. Yes, man. All right. Yeah. Well, people, you've heard it all here from the man himself, Junior Bus Driver Link Up CEO on Catch Up With World Mag. Please make sure you drop a comment down below. Let us know what you think. If you want tickets, information's on the screen. Also, like, subscribe, turn your notifications on, all that jazz. Until next time, you've been watching Catch Up With World Mag. I've been Forever Sasha, and the show is sponsored by Flat Cap Rum. Take care of yourself. Bye.